Abby back. It is Prodigy Queen again, and in this Prodigy video, I'm going to show you how to catch a squibber. Okay, so there are two ways to catch it. Well, there's one way to where well, there are two ways to obtain it. The first way is that you could just buy it from this merchant called Athena. You go to the pet section and you click on the squibble. There's this it's this small squid thingy and its description is the gem on a squibble's head is known to be good luck and it, it is often the target of fishermen. So so it's this gem looking thing right over here with my, my, my red arrows pointing to it on the forehead. So, so fishermen catch it and then they kill it and then they take its gem. And another and, and another thing that you could do, another place where you could find a description is go to your pet team to go to this dictionary and you scroll a bit down. So it's going to be there it is, and there's the same description. It's a water type pet, and it also the gem on Squibble's head is known to be good luck and is the often target of the fishermen. Yes. So now I'm going to show you how to catch it. The first thing you do is you're going to want to go to the right over here, where the, a bunch of these palm trees are located, and it's in the direction of this this pink seashell thingy and this variety thingy. So. We have Pippet over here, and we have a Muckster. So we're gonna have to battle this pet, whichever pet you have. Usually it's a Muckster or an Equester. And then you wanna go up onto this ledge of the muck, of, of the ledge, not the Muckster. So I'm going to be right back from battling this pet. All right, guys, I finished battling that Muckster pet over there. I'm just going to quickly just put a, just a quick pet on my team. And now let's go up this shipwreck path. So this cannon over here, there's gonna be a cannon over here. You wanna go to that cannon and then you wanna head up from there. And you're going to see this place. Now when I when I was new to Prodigy, I always used to think you had to battle this pet. But no, you don't have to. You you're gonna find this cannon looking thing. You go towards the cannon and then you go all the way up without making any stops. You're gonna see now. You're gonna see three pets, two aquasters for me and a trip trap. You could just gently head up and then head to the right, and and you could skip both of those two pets, and then you can just battle the trip trap. And let's see if we could skip that pet. Nope. Alright guys, I just finished that battle with the trip trap. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the whirlpool looking thing over here. Whoops, there's a person over there. And we see that there is a pet over here. So what we have to do is we have to battle that pet or maybe we could skip it if we're lucky. Nope, we have to battle it. Okay. So, now after you get out of that pet, you're going to see this sand looking thing over here. If there's a, if you see a bunch of black clouds over that, or it's called ink, then you cannot go in there. So, what you want to do is you want to go into that hole, but if you cannot go into that hole, you want to go up here. So what you do to actually skip this pet is you go over to this orange long seaweed, then go over to this shaggy seaweed, and then head down to this purple or pink long seaweed, and then you go over to the long green seaweed, and then you head over to this pink seashell right over here, and then you could head over to the boulder. Voila! We just got past that pet! Now since now we're past that pet, now we want to go back up here and we see that we have a Naughty and we have a River Meek. We could actually skip both pets if we head over here, down over here onto the Shaggy Seaweed and then we head on, on, on to the, we head on to the Orange Seaweed and then we want to go on onto the Glowing Orb Purple Plant. So let's head over there and then we want to go over to this Purple Seashell. We want to go over 
two this tree and then voila we just skipped both those pets we just skipped three pets in a row that's so amazing now we're gonna see this place as i was saying you could have just took this whirlpool looking thing all the way over here and you would have reached the same place so but if you but if there's inks all over it the path that i just showed you you, you could take so now we want to skip this pet so we want to head down into this shaggy seaweed and then we want to battle this depressed looking creature called a river leap so oops there's somebody on there right now and let's battle this pet all right guys i just finished that battle and now we want to go into these stairs over here which leads us to an underwater ship we can see that it's underwater from the coral and all the bubbles that are rising. Now what we want to do is we want to head up over here, where, where this cannon with, with the purple shell is in. And then we want to head over up here. Now, we want to head up these stairs. Okay, so now we're outside the ship. Now you, you're going to see a path on dry land and the path that keeps going up the ship. You want to take the path that keeps on going up the ship. And you, you're going to see this path. You're going to want to take this path first and then reach this ship. And then you want to take this staircase to go up here. And now you're on dry land if you go up here. Then you want to go into this whirlpool back underwater. And then we're going to see three pets over here. Mine has a Gennady, a Mimic, and a River Neek. You can, only, you can battle only one of these pets if you follow these instructions. Go down to this purple orb tree, and then go onto this boulder. If you head down here onto the boulder. And then you want to sneak on, sneak up onto this Mimic. You want to you wanna battle the Mimic, that's it. No, no Gennady and no River Neek. So we could just head down to these coral depths and let's go ahead and battle the mimic. I'll be right back. Alright guys, now that we just finished battling that one pet, now we could go down over here. Skipping that river neat. Now what we want to do over here is we want to find a funk eel that because the funk eel is paired up with a squibble. So I'm so I'm going to I'm going to go to this funky over here and try to spot a squibble. But if I don't find one, you have to keep refreshing the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm, I'll be right back when I catch a squibble. So looks like we found a squibble with this funk eel over here so let's go ahead and battle with it so i have refreshed many times and I finally got one so i want to use volcano so that's it. like squibbles are very very rare and you can get them, it's like a chance of getting them 1 out of 20 times, so you have to battle a lot to get one. So, let's use a wildfire next. How this how the squibble attacks it looks really cool like I have a squibble I've caught one before and it attacks like it, it, it's like gem sparkled and then in a, a burst of water shoots out of it so that looks really cool so let's use our wildfire and the squibble just has 47 health left but the, the, the squibble actually killed me so I'm bringing up my ember shed next squibbles do a lot of damage like they just killed my pyromane so through the length of the hmm. this is so 
when this when this squibble uses down tornado it does sometimes three thousand sometimes four thousand damage so and there's volcano on and let's use volcano and take out the squibble but if you but if you want to catch the squibble you don't want to kill it you want to catch it and you need like 20 of their coins called yars, or you probably, probably need 50. I'm not really sure. I think it's 50 yars to capture any pet in, in Shipwreck Shore. So you need to make sure you have 50 squibbles because if you go in a battle and then you realize, oh no, I have less than 50 yars, and you won't be able to catch the squibbles in. And guys, that was how to catch a squibble in Prodigy. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified of any awesome content coming 